Assalamu alaikum, my beautiful people. How's everybody doing? It's your girl, Y Armanda in the flesh, and I'm here back with another YouTube video. Yes, your girl is here, and I just want to get deep with you guys today. We're gonna cut straight into it. Today, we're talking about my hijab journey. Yes, I'm officially a hijabi now. Alhamdulillah, I never thought. I will become a full-time hijabi in my life. You know, I'm 22 now. But realistically, alhamdulillah, it's what I can say that Allah has instilled it in me to finally, you know, have the courage to be who I truly am meant to be. Yes. Okay, so let's get on to the video. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. We are on a road to 20K subscribers. I'm getting deep with y'all. Hopefully no tears are shed. I'm not trying to do that. So yeah, let's get on to the video. My hijab journey has been a little bit different than others, okay? My whole modesty journey um, was different than most because it was on the internet, right? I made an announcement. I made a TikTok video talking about how I am going to change my wardrobe and dress modestly. Um, and I wanted to detail about that. If you want to know about my modesty journey, you know, me changing my wardrobe and deciding to dress fully covered, be sure to check out that YouTube video. It is linked below. I decided to change my wardrobe in June of 2023, right? And now it is September, July, August, September. Four months, three and a half, four months. Um, it took for me to become who I am today, you know, where I am today. Let's talk about the hijab. So how I used to look at the hijab when I was younger, I was like, oh no, this is just too much. This is just too much covering. Like what? It's your hair. What's the reason for you covering your hair? Like, this is how I used to think about it. This is how I used to view it when I was younger. I'm like, no, like I could never be a hijabi. You know, like I remember when I was in elementary school, I was talking to my dad. He was taking me to school and he was like, oh, you know, once you get in middle school, you're going to you're going to have to wear the hijab. Um, of course, um, you know, of course, that wasn't the case. But I remember him telling me that I'm like, no, then then everybody's going to know I'm Muslim. And like, it's just I don't want people to be in my business like that, you know. Um, and then look at me today. Allah, whoever. All right. So look. I always looked at the hijab as like it like I didn't understand it right I did not understand the hijab and why you know Muslim women wore it even though you know I was born Muslim I just did not understand it so it wasn't until I turned 18 where I read the Quran I got into my deen I started learning more about Islam and expanding my knowledge towards my religion in 2022 I actually decided to you know, change my wardrobe and dress modestly. But I did not go fully into it because it was it's such a big transition from, you know, dressing like everybody else, mini skirts, short skirts, whatever, then coming out like fully clothed, like what happened, what's up? That's a big jump, you know? And you have to be mentally prepared for that. This is not just something um, you can just do and it's easy, no, because I was just thinking about like, what about the people around me? What about the people in my city? What about the people, you know, like my old friends? Like, am I not gonna be able to hang around them anymore? And yeah, that's the case. Like, it's life, you know? So I fell in love with the hijab around July. Yes. So two, three months ago, I fell in love with the hijab. I would see so many beautiful women wearing the hijab, I have a friend who is a hijabi. I never had a hijabi friend in my life, you know, alhamdulillah. And she also helped me, you know, made it easy for me to transition into becoming a hijabi. I can say like I had a lot of inspiration um, towards this. For my modesty journey, I didn't really have much inspiration. But for my hijab journey, I had so much inspiration. So many beautiful women I would see on Instagram, social media, um, you know, girls that follow me, girls that I would see on TikTok who are just gorgeous, not showing nothing but face. You know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. That's a big deal. You know, so 
every time I would see a beautiful Muslim woman covered, I would just think like, wow, subhanAllah, mashallah, like, wow, you know, I can't do nothing but respect her. Fun fact, when I first found out who I was and I got into with myself, like I got deeper within myself, I wrote down a paper of affirmations. And one of the affirmations that I wrote down um, that I would say every day is I am well respected. I wrote that down and I picked that affirmation because I felt like I was not being respected. Overlooking me, you know, for not and not seeing me for who I truly am. Like, baby, I'm a real boss for real. Like, yeah, stop playing. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you know, I felt like people were asleep on me in a sense, right? So I wrote that affirmation down. I'm like, I want to be well respected. Like when I walk in a room, like, yeah, y'all know what's up. Like, yeah, what's up? Hey, a queen is here. The queen has arrived. Because I didn't have that. I could say a subhanAllah, like everything just worked out into one. Like I was already born Muslim and I just did not know. And I just didn't educate myself. And then like I got older, a little bit matured. And now I'm becoming who I dream to be. And Anytime that I will see a woman that's fully covered, you can't do nothing but respect her. Like, realistically. If we're being completely, completely honest and real and transparent, this is what God wants for us women. Men, they cannot lower their gaze. They can try, but it's just naturally in them to look. Okay? Now, imagine them already looking at you. And on top of that, you're not wearing the right clothes. Your body showing, your titty hanging out, the mongas, everything just out. A man is not going to respect you if you dress him like that, you know? Like, a man is not, this is not what they want. This is not what a real righteous man of God, he does not want his wife out here dressing, wearing whatever she want to wear. Like, looking like in the street. This is not of faith. And... I did not want to be like that, okay? I just started asking myself, like, yo, like, what about my husband? What's my husband? Like, when am I going to get married? I'm 22. I want to get married. Y'all get where I'm coming from. So all my beautiful women that's tuning in to this, this video right now, if you are not a hijabi, I highly recommend it. I highly recommend doing this. This, this I feel 10 times more beautiful wearing this. Hello, how you doing? Hijab also from Soul Royalty, by the way. Y'all go ahead and shop Soul Royalty for your modest wear. This dress in the hijab is from Soul Royalty. So y'all check that out. In July 2023, I started practicing the hijab consistently. I started, you know, buying the practice scarves. Like I would wear the scarves with the outfit, you know, like do it. Like, you know, it was a process for me. I didn't just wake up one day and say, boom full hijab i started practicing wearing it you know so i can get used to the feeling see how it feels you know in hot conditions i'm in south florida see how it feels you know like when i walk outside i'm at a supermarket you know like just to get used to it as i started practicing it i'm on social media with it everybody in the comments what is your hijab wear it properly sister you're not wearing the hijab properly you know, I go live, the men in my DMs, the men in my comments saying, your hijab, your hijab, your hijab. Now I can say this. I've never seen a comment from a woman, okay? A woman that's a hijabi or a woman, period, talking about the way I wear my hijab. You know why? Because we as females, we understand how it feels. We have all had our own journey and we know, you know, how it can be being a modest woman in today's society. It's not easy, okay? This is not just something you can just, boom, okay, this is me. This is something that you have to work your way into. And if it's just in you like that, then mashallah, lahuma body. But everybody has their own journey to modesty. So I just noticed that a lot of men are speaking on the hijab. Men should not be speaking on the hijab, okay? I personally feel like, don't share your opinion on the hijab if you are not saying this to your wife. I'm not your wife. You shouldn't worry about what I got going on. Put that out there because, um, yeah, like, I'm gonna give y'all an example. While I'm practicing the hijab, 
I'm getting used to it. I go live. I'm doing my live show with my co-host, my sister, and this guy joins. He he requests the live. Okay. He say hello, salam alaikum, alaikum salam. He says my co-host name. You're so beautiful. Oh, I love you. You're so beautiful, right? And then to me, he said, for you, fix your hijab. And he said it in such a rude and disgusting tone. And I'm not going to lie. I was already feeling the type of way. So when he said that, that put the icing on the cake. Like, nah. Like, And then on top of that, like, I'm a Muslim woman. I got to present myself this way. I can't cuss him out. I can't act this. I can't do none of that. I have to just sit there and just. But when he said that, he made me feel bad. The fact that. Why are you hating on me like that? Like, say this, him saying that did not make my journey easier. When he said that, I felt like personally, honestly, truly, I want to take off the hijab. I'm like, nah, I'm not going to be sitting here putting up with this. If I have to wear the hijab and on top of that, listen to the comments, the negative comments from men, I don't want it. You know, that's how I was feeling when he said that. But you got to understand, like, this dunya, this life is temporary. And the ones that are most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the ones who are tested the most. We are going to get tested in every single area of our life. And your reaction is what matters. I want to share that story because we have to address this issue with men constantly speaking on the woman in their hijab. It's not cool. It's not nice. And if you're going to say it or try to correct a sister, say it in a nice way. There's so much struggles that uh, that I faced as a black Muslim woman, you know, not in, not only am I in the West, I'm in South Florida, you know, um, I don't really have much inspiration that I can look to when it comes to modest wear. All I can say is I, don't, I never needed to follow anyone else. I paved my own way, okay? Make your own way. You don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to look like everybody else. Me changing myself is making the world a better place. Whether you believe it or not, we all have impact on somebody else. Somebody else in our lives looks to us for like inspiration. There's people out here who really, really admire you and you don't even know it. Every time you make a change, whether it's positive or negative, it impacts somebody else. It doesn't just impact you, you know? I needed to live in my truth. You can do different colors. Instead of putting on a pink wig, you could put on a pink hijab. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just very versatile. And on top of that, it's respectable and it's loved by Allah. It's loved by God. Now, I'm not saying you got to be a hijabi to be loved by God. But what I'm saying is, if you can get closer to God by any means possible, do it. Because you don't know what's going to happen when you die. You don't know what's going to happen, what you will face. Realistically. You know, we can only hope and pray and continue to do good. But we never know. Let your goodness on the inside show on the outside be who you truly are fearlessly be who you are and don't worry about what anybody else has to say people are going to talk regardless doing good doing bad doing great doing phenomenal doing people going to speak and you can't control people's mouths and you can't control people's opinions but you can't control your heart and you can control your reactions so um my hijab journey had a lot of goodness, but we also had a lot of adversity. It, honestly, it wasn't that hard for me. I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to sit here and make it seem like, oh, it's been so hard. That's probably because um, I was already on my modesty thing. And then I was like, all right, we can just get this out of the way now and just become a full-time hijabi. You know, like, I'm not really looking at it too deep. I feel like once you start looking at Oh, am I really going to be a hijab? Like, am I really going to be a hijab? Like, don't look at it too deep. Just do it. If you want to do it, just do it. Like, I didn't look at it too deep. I didn't think too deep about it. All I seen and I paid attention to was the good, right? Whatever you focus on will grow. So I just paid attention to the good things of, about the hijab. I paid. I looked at all the beautiful women. I, I looked at all the, the, the sisters that are dressed fully covered. And I looked, I had so much inspiration like i had so much people to look to when it came to the hijab like alhamdulillah honestly truly i'm not gonna sit up here and make it seem like it was that hard for me 
I just had to change the way I think about modest wear and look at me now. Alhamdulillah. I'm praise to Allah. I've always loved Allah since I was young. I've always been, you know, a clean hearted person, genuine person. Um, and now I just feel like it's just showing on the outside, you know. Never judge nobody. N never judge a person. Because you don't know what they think about. It's people out here who who, who probably portray themselves as the most holiest people. They so holy in front of the world. But behind the scenes, they probably like the worst people on earth. You never know. Like, you know, like. And then there's people who's who probably don't even look holy at all. Like, they look like, oh my God. Like, what you got going on? But they probably have such great character and such strong faith. You just don't even know. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. Don't ever judge nobody by what you think you see. Because only Allah knows our hearts. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who we truly are. And only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows who is going to make it into Jannah. And who is going to make it into Hellfire. Jahannam. Okay, honestly, truly, I don't even like thinking about hellfire. I don't even want to think about it. I just can't think about it. I just don't want to, I don't want to focus on that, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so many bad things in the world. There's so many bad people. But there's so many good things as well. And there's so many beautiful people, you know. So, once again, it's all about what you focus on. So, for all my beautiful women out there that's tuning in, I hope my story, my journey, um, you know, impacted you or helped you choose to become better in any way or, you know, actually made you say Alhamdulillah, you know, you probably already are modest and mashallah. Um, shout out to everybody who's, who shows me love and support. May Allah forgive you all. May Allah bless you all. May Allah have mercy on you all. Allahumma ameen. And yeah, man. I love you all. That's my hijab journey. Um, summed up. I went a little bit more into detail. I showed y'all, you know, like I'm gonna yeah. So let me know what other videos you guys wanna see. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. I love you guys so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace and love. Bye y'all.